Hey guys, welcome to Mill Gap Farms. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. We're definitely something new happening every day on the farm. We brought this trailer into the into the barn because we're gonna uh, load it up today. But turns out, we got a flat tire. How many times you guys go out to your equipment, a trailer, something you're getting ready to use, and you find you got a flat or something just isn't quite right? Well, in this case, that's what we've got. And today we're going to show you how to fix that flat in, in really no time at all. Guys, this whole repair is going to take about 15 minutes, or at least that's how long it took me to do the repair. And I think you can do it in that same amount of time, too. Hey, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kevin Connor, along with my beautiful wife, Emily. We own Virginia's only organic maple syrup farm. It's pretty cool. We do a little bit more than maple syrup, and if you ever want to come out and visit, we do have some B&Bs. Um, that you can stay in. One's directly on the farm. Go to millgatfarms.com. Check it out. So if you guys like what you're seeing, hey, be sure to give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. And we definitely appreciate the time that you guys give us watching our crazy videos. So come along. Let's see if we can get this thing repaired in short order. Guys, when I'm trying to jack up the, the wheels of the trailer, I always put a jack stand in the front, and then I jack from the back corner, enabling myself to lift it up all, all the way. If you just put a jack stand here and try to lift this trailer up, it's not going to go. The, the wheels are going to relax and one wheel is going to stay on the ground. This way I can get both of the wheels off the ground and remove the tire. problem right there it's a nail it's gonna be pretty simple to get out hopefully it won't be too hard to to repair um, here's a here's a nice little I can't say it's a tool kit but there are tools that I have that I put together to fix tires in the case we have a flat so guys here's a tool that you're gonna ream it with pretty cool so there's a split right here this is a tool that you're gonna to use to put the plug in with and there's a split right there that allows the plug to come out. And of course, you're gonna need some plugs. They come in a pack, you just peel the pack back, and then it exposes the plugs, and then you can use them. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can get one of these kits off Amazon. They're handy to have, and they're pretty inexpensive. You can also find them at, at your local hardware store, and sometimes, and definitely at your local auto parts supply store. One of the easiest ways to get it out is going to be with a pair of needle nose pliers. Put your pliers right on it. I'm going to try to pry it out. Okay, that's not working. I got a pair of these pliers. This might work. Just trying to, I'm not trying to cut it, just trying to bite it, get a bite on it. Here we go. There it goes. Hey, look at that. Okay, there. You guys see that? That's a nail. Looks like a roofing nail. Missing a head. All right. So, now we gotta clean it out a little bit and then put our plug right in there. This is sort of a reamer. It helps to clean the edges of this thing or clean the edge of the hole. It also helps you to find what angle you're going to go in. Because there. Okay. There we go. All right. So, guys, this hole is at an angle. It's not straight up and down on the tire. We're going to have to shove it in at an angle. Here are our, our little pieces parts. I'm going to. These are the plugs. So there's a, there's a strong possibility that if you don't ream out this hole, you're gonna split it or break this tool. And that you definitely don't wanna do. All you gotta do 
is stick in the plug here we go stick this plug in just like that get it about halfway in now the hard part you got to twist and work it right into that hole and you're pushing down a little twist remember you're at an angle on this hole Goodness gracious, that ain't going in. All right, so it's not going in. So what we're gonna have to do is get that hole a little bit, find that hole. So here we are, okay? All the way in. Now, we know it's this big, but our plug is a little bit chunkier, and it's also really soft. So that plug is gonna take up the distance, the difference. Now, Yep, that's good. Now we're going to put this back in the hole. Remember, we're at that angle. There she wants to go. Nope. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. There she goes. All right. Ah, that was hard. So here's a trick I learned a long time ago. Before you pull this thing out, make sure you twist it. Put a couple twists on it, okay? What that's gonna do is create a knot on the other side. So when you get ready to pull, pull quickly like that. Now your plug is in there, not coming out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pump up our tire and make sure we don't have any air leaks around this plug. This is our digital tire pressure gauge and anytime you're going to add air to your tires be sure to check the tire itself to make sure that you're going to put the proper amount in if you're doing a trailer you want to make sure that all four tires have the same pressure in it before you travel um, for certain um, if you're doing a car or a truck or something like that you can find the tire pressure information inside the driver's door jam or the opening of the dark driver's door side It'll tell you what the front pressure is, and it'll tell you what the rear pressure is going to be as well. In this case, this tire tells us that we need 80 PSI cold in it. So we're going to put 80 PSI in this one, and we're going to check that one as well. We have zero. Our little pancake compressor, not going to do it. <laughs> We're going to need to get the bigger compressor or fill that pancake compressor up a couple times. We got the bigger compressor going. Eighty psi. So let's check this one while we're here, guys. Seventy psi. We need to add a little bit of air. Eighty psi. There you have it. So we got the tires all pumped up, guys. We're gonna take it out, park it, check the tires tomorrow, make sure everything's good, and we're fine. We're gonna be good. So there you have it, guys. Uh, tires fixed. It's holding air, and we're in good shape. If you guys like what you're seeing, give us that thumbs up. We appreciate the time you guys give us to watch our videos, and we hope that you are enjoying them. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, be sure to put them in the comments below. Until next time, God bless you guys.